Hello guys, I'm uh, doing some programming in the uh, uh, how do you say entropy stuff that I'm, I've been looking into. So I want to bounce a lot of balls to each other, and the idea is that you start with random positions and random velocity, and they will eventually create an order according to some uh, experiment made at um, a university in, uh, in Michigan. So, but they did the simulation in 3D, three dimensions, balls, bouncing and stuff. Um, I, I'm doing it in 2D, two dimensions with flat balls, but still it's like amazing the optimizations that needs to be done uh, and uh, I have these silly ideas about how I can optimize this like I'll just say uh, some of these examples of optimizations um, one optimization is um, only look for uh, for uh, bounce bounces when there is uh, uh, no only look for for bouncing check if there is a ball that bounces if um, to to the balls that are nearby okay so for each ball uh, for each ball you need to um, you need a list of these nearby balls, okay? So that that's one thing, and and uh, one optimization that you can do. So so you don't have to compare the bounce with all balls, okay? But note that this list needs to be updated. The list of nearby balls, and it needs to be done regularly. In, in a special fashion which can be optimized in itself then depending on the the distance to the closest ball you can assume that there is no bounce uh, until a certain time this means that you don't have to check for for uh, bounces on nearby balls Unless, uh, unless a certain time has elapsed. That's the second optimization. Mm. Okay. Uh. So, to find the nearby balls... It's like you can make this amazing optimization that I'm thinking of. And that's to separate each ball into a sector. Okay. And you have an array of uh, four, uh, four different kinds of sectors. And the sector that has uh, the uh, largest modulus, like mod, it's called in mathematics. You divide with something what's left, okay? And the what I mean is that you find the sector the type of sector that fits the best and you compare with the other balls if they are in the same sector if they are in the same sector they are nearby <laughs> this silly silly optimizations okay so you get this list um, so ideally it will be like this you check you have a ball, you check all balls, which balls are nearby. 
Uh, then you have the nearby balls and you will uh, check is it is it time to check for a bounce if it is time to check for a bounce uh, only check nearby balls um, uh, and it probably didn't bounce when you checked so you need to reschedule the next check for a bounce and uh, the, the timestamp when it will be checked and so it kind of becomes this mathematics of uh, uh, how do you say the, the rabbit versus the the turtle or something and uh, yeah I, I don't know how to explain it oh my god uh, but yeah I think this can be optimized a lot so that it will will run smoothly even on one uh, running uh, without any threads on one core and I'm thinking that I cannot run this on multiple threads I believe since uh, a ball is assumed to only bounce once a ball cannot bounce many times on each iteration uh, because that will um, create problems with energy conservation or at least I don't really know what's going to happen if if many balls are assumed to bounce at the same time I mean it will be complicated no no need to have no need to have multiple threading extremely complicated stuff talking to myself here so finally when I can show this to you that uh, we can create order out of chaos which this simulation is about and it's a way to uh, make fun of the the second law of thermodynamics or maybe not make fun of it but mm -hmm. to uh, clarify it clarify it what it actually means that it doesn't have to do with order but it has instead to do with uh, the microstates of the uh, physical uh, the microstate states of a closed system okay so that's that's the idea of this and my ideas uh, my idea behind this this kind of experiment is to try to understand the crystallization actually I want to understand crystals better and that means I have to simulate and uh, get my hands a bit dirty with this uh, this stuff and actually create crystals of my own by having chaos uh, going into order, becoming order. Uh, but at this time, it just—I have to share my feelings here because it's—it feels so damn silly to do this, uh, do this kind of optimizations with balls bouncing to each other. It's—it's—it's it's, it's just. It feels so stupid to do it, but I guess I just need to do it. Um, I guess so. Uh, and then uh, when I manage to create this, that I assume will happen, you know, it's an experiment. I want to replicate something that uh, was done at this university in Michigan. Uh, when I finally can replicate it, I can... Uh, uh, start uh, doing a bit deeper checks and, and visualizations of this I don't know uh, just interesting this is really interesting to me but yeah yeah it's interesting but it's weird to program it it feels like I'm programming something something like idiotic like optimization for for balls but whatever um yeah so a video for myself i guess 
talking some stuff.